J. Mall. I'm reaching out because I just came across an elaborate display on my walk home. A man asked if I wanted to learn about the dangers of psychiatry. I asked if he is from the Church of Scientology. He said that the organization is funded by Scientology. He then proceeded to tell me about a myriad of evils done by psychiatry and his own mother's terrible experience. I told him that I'm sorry about his mom. I also said that I don't doubt that many bad things have been done in the past, but I still don't think the entire field should be discounted. He retreated from me and simply said I was mistaken. I found it interesting that they did not explicitly note Scientology in their literature. I'm curious if you are familiar with this organization and if you have any insights about them. Thank you. Okay, so you're talking about the Citizens Commission on Human Rights, which is a Scientology fund group that was created in 1969 in order to uh, specifically and exactly take out psychiatry. That is its job. And in fact, I actually read quite a bit from the materials of CCHR in my New Year's podcast. So please check it out because I broke all this down and I actually read paragraph by paragraph their three-step program to eradicate, to annihilate psychiatry from the globe, right? Psychiatry, global annihilation. That was their three-step program. And um, I, I, I had a laugh at that because... Um, it was remarkably similar in my mind to uh, underpants gnomes as far as the degree of effective planning that CCHR actually engaged in in order to eradicate psychiatry. If you wanted to, if you were, if you thought psychiatry was was you know totally evil and must be destroyed, and that is very definitely what CCHR and Scientology thinks, then you know your the the efforts to get rid of psychiatry should be more in line with criminalizing it. Uh, you know, legislation would do a lot more towards the, uh, in the direction of banning psychiatry than this, you know, these endless exposés and silly DVDs and nonsense that they send around. I mean, that's where Scientology's at, is they think saturating the planet with DVDs about how bad psychiatry is, is somehow going to, you know, annihilate psychiatry. And, you know, all right, cool. <laughs> and knock yourselves out. Hope you have fun with that, you know. Uh, but it's it's too little, uh, too late, and it, they're and they're lying. That's the problem with uh, their anti psychiatry material. Is there are real legitimate problems in psychiatry, but Scientology is so extreme that nobody who's dealing with those problems wants CCHR on their side. Because CCHR is all about destroying psychiatry, just annihilating it, and substituting it with what? Scientology. And if you, if, again, for longtime watchers of this channel, you know I've produced content uh, it, just this last year, in fact, about the grim dangers of psychiatry, or Scientology, rather, treating the mentally ill. Uh, that's the last thing we ever want to have happen is Scientology taking over the field of mental health. But that is their goal. And the CCHR is supposed to be the harbinger of that by coming in and cleaning out, you know, and destroying everything else that's in the way of Scientology moving in and taking over mental health. So that's the, that's the sort of idea of it. Um, and Hubbard, uh, this was definitely Hubbard's brainchild. And there was um, a psychiatrist who was speaking out as a almost kind of, well, I don't think I'm going to say he's a whistleblower, but he was somebody who was critical of the field of psychiatry. His name was Thomas Saz. And they got him on board as, a, as an ally, and, and he was doing a lot of speaking and stuff. And CCHR was pushing that messaging, and they've been pushing it ever since. So that's pretty much what that's about. And this traveling... Um, you know, show that you saw this museum was actually referenced in that three-step program because what you saw on your walk home was, I, I'm, I believe, was the CCHR Traveling Industry of Death Museum display that they wanted to walk you through. And, uh, and that's, you know, how they think they're getting rid of psychiatry, and that's what that's all about.